Hey, what's up? Uh, as I've said, my computer problems have worsened. Uh, I can barely make anything right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you guys get a week's worth of podcast videos, uh, I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm not even able to stream anymore on this thing. It keeps turning off. I have no clue what it is. Uh, I'm completely helpless. Like, There's not much of anything that I can do right now without it turning off. Uh, I have talked to a uh, computer shop nearby. Uh, my family is going to pay at least some of it. Uh, I don't know if people help me out maybe I can do it sooner but uh, it's just gonna be low-key for a while so today I wanted to show uh, how to use the editor for DW8XL uh, if you remember my last video I talked about all the cool stuff you could do uh, I figured I would show it off uh, I can't show the first part right now but when you first open the editor uh, you will have to point it to your directory uh, that your Dynasty Warriors 8 files are in uh, it should be Steam program files Steam Steam apps common Dynasty Warriors 8 uh, unless you have some kind of strange configuration so here's my save file uh, as you can see uh, I just got the game a couple days ago so it's not really <laughs> uh, as in-depth as my main one is on the consoles but you can go to edit and you can edit various parameters of the game uh, this link data stuff is things you definitely don't want to fuck with uh, you can get yourself uh, locked in a permanent state of crashes uh, <laughs> there's not much that you can do there really uh, I just recommend not messing with this stuff this is for advanced users but uh, the things you can do here are pretty meaty uh, for example uh, here's the skills um, I already grinded all these up to level 20 on my Vita version <laughs> so uh, you can sure as hell bet I didn't want to do that again so uh, you can set them all here. You can just max them out immediately. Uh, you can give yourself all the mastery skills, which will in turn give you the uh, the ultimate mastery skills, which will allow you to use uh, Shadow Sprint or Dash or Whirlwind or Dive with uh, any character. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, if you go to Global right here, uh, this is all your currency in the game. There's gold, gems. Uh, and your facility and weapon materials. Um, this is obviously, if you play the game, uh, these are the things that you grind your balls off for. Uh, if you're like me, uh, I play the Vita version a lot when I'm, I'm on the road. I'm on the bus, waiting for the bus, uh, etc., waiting for food. Uh, <laughs> you can pretty much eliminate that element of the game. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. You just click on it and you edit in the numbers. Just don't go too crazy. You might end up crashing it. Uh, the most juicy thing that you can do is you can create your own weapons. Uh, as you can see, you will need to use one that you already have. Uh, obviously, since I just started the game, uh, my computer's been fucking up. I haven't been able to play much. Uh, I pretty much just have some basic weapons. But uh, as you can see here, I made a, a boomerang. So what you do is you can go to the ID, you can change any weapon into any other weapon. Uh, you can take something like the generic sword and you can turn it into a nunchaku. Uh, you just have to make sure that you pick the right one. Uh, affinity, uh, you can ch choose whichever one you want. Uh, obviously this is not too useful since you can do that in the game without any kind of modification. But uh, if you choose none, uh, basically uh, as I explained before, it turns the game into Dynasty Warrior 7 mode. Uh, all of the affinity mechanics are disabled. Uh, the enemy can switch weapons and stuff, but uh, they don't have the you know hit stun or lack of hit stun uh, depending on whatever affinity you're in. Uh, the rest is pretty self-explanatory. You can change the attack. Uh, the attack is obviously pretty pretty big uh, grinding element. You need 500 gems to move it up one point. So uh, if you're in the uh, video making business, if you're trying to do maximization or whatever trying to prove a point uh, you can pretty much just say fuck it just give yourself 50 attack which is uh, within the parameters of the game uh, the fifth and sixth weapons usually come around that attack so nothing too crazy uh, you can also edit the elements here uh, this is a, another big grinding element uh, although with the weapon fusion it's pretty pretty easy to just make these yourself but uh, if you're like me, uh, if you're just starting a game on the PC and you don't want to fuck with that stuff, you can do it here. Uh, you can also edit your officer parameters. Uh, let's go load up Joe Yu here. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. <laughs> I apologize in advance, but you, you can double click on them and uh, you will get a bunch of their parameters. You can change 
whatever you want actually you can actually give your character four stars in every proficiency uh, which means <laughs> Uh, you won't have to equip the ultimate mastery skills. Say if you want to use the Mandarin duck hooks on Zhou Yu, uh, normally it would not be possible to use the um, use the proficiency bonus, which is the Shadow Sprint, uh, because he does not have four stars. Uh, the only way to do it would be to use the uh, Shadow Sprint skill, which enables it with the DLC weapons, uh, since obviously uh, those weapons are not tied to any characters right now in, in DW8XL. So. Uh, if you want to bypass that, you can just give yourself 100 in every proficiency. Um, that means uh, it'll give you an extra skill slot to work with if you're using one of the DLC weapons. But uh, that's the basics. Uh, there's also animals here. Uh, you can give yourself a red hair. Um, whatever horse you want, uh, it's just uh, you have to have an actual item in that slot. You have to have an actual animal. Uh, you can just go to the stables and just buy one. Uh, it's not too complex and then you can go in here. Uh, I can't show it because of the double clicks but uh, yeah you can edit whatever you want on it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, those are the basics pretty much. Uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. It's not really needed. Uh, but the null affinity uh, is really cool. It allows you to pretty much actually use tag combos. Uh, one of my biggest complaints about the original game was uh, you couldn't really do dual weapon combos except in very isolated situations. Uh, here you can pretty much just do it whenever you want. Uh, you will miss out on the Storm Rush and stuff. Uh, Storm Rush obviously is a really good Muso filler. Uh, characters that can combo after it with a flurry uh, get a pretty big bonus. So it, it's up to your discretion. Uh, Thankfully, it's not like a hard mod or anything. Uh, all you have to do is just, if you don't, if you want to use the affinity mechanics again, uh, you can just equip another weapon. Uh, you can also just make another one that has one of the normal three affinities and just go to town like normal. So uh, once you're done, uh, you can go ahead and just go to save. And uh, once you boot up the game, your changes should be in effect. Uh, I haven't noticed any problems. Uh, the only problem that I've had with it that's not related to the uh, crashes that just seem to just happen normally, uh, the game's pretty shitty port, uh, is your your animal will not exist unless you have something to create it off of, which means, uh, like I said, you'll have to just get uh, any kind of mount in the game and you can edit it from here. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I will go ahead and post a link in the description. Uh, the latest version, if you go to the site, uh, you should notice it'll say 357 editor. Uh, make sure you click on the one that has the most recent release date. Uh, that version defaults to English. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm having problems with crashing. Obviously, my computer, uh, as I've said a million times, has been turning itself off whenever I stream and record. So uh, I can't do much with it now. Hopefully, next week. Uh, once I get paid, uh, my family is going to probably wire me some money so I can just get this over with. Uh, I should be back in business. Uh, I know people have wanted me to return to Muso games. Uh, I was pretty burnt out. I mean, there are some things I can't fix about DW8XL. Uh, the annoying Muso spamming that happens every five seconds. But uh, this will definitely create uh, some new opportunities, some new options. Uh, I think it'll be a good revival for Muso on this channel. It's just... Uh, you're gonna have to deal with the low key stuff for another week. Uh, I can't, I can't feasibly record right now. There's just a huge chance that it turns off. So, uh, I hope this helps anyone. Uh, the game is on sale right now. Uh, it should be about 25 bucks by the time you see this. Uh, you will have to do some configuration. Uh, some people have it running fine out of the box. Some people have had to mod it. Uh, it's very much it's like a lesser version of the DMC3 port that I was talking about. Uh, your mileage may vary, but uh, once it works, it works. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Anyway, see ya. Peace.